Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers and welcome newcomers. I hope you guys enjoy what you see on my channel and if so, be part of this journey with us, one big beautiful family. By hitting that subscription button, of course, it's free of charge. You don't pay for anything. And also, if you like the videos, to give it those thumbs up. It's extremely important. Make your comments, suggestion, any advice or anything you'd like me to create. I want to mention I do have a crochet private group. You're more than welcome to join as long as you have a profile. I also have a crochet page. Everything under the same name, Crochet Art Tutorials by Maggie Lopez. Uh, Instagram and TikTok so you can follow me through there or be part of it with us and um, enjoy all of the beauty queens that I have on the in the group right one big beautiful family there so I use po a 2.75 hook a small one to tuck in and a pair of scissors most of the time some patterns I'll use a 3 or 3.5 depending on uh, how big I want the pattern or if there's a lot of small little details then I my stitch is so tight I need to go bigger also reminding that people have a very tight tension use a size or two bigger than your normal so it doesn't crumple up or wave up if you're too loose then use a size or two smaller so you can have a nice perfection um, doily or pattern whatever you're creating Please share. Sharing is caring. It helps the channel tremendously. And I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all the women that have been sharing quite a bit, especially Miss Charmaine Smith. Thank you so much. And uh, thanking the women in uh, that have helped the women in need uh, for thread. So if you're considering to donate some money, there's a little bag below the video that says thanks. Uh, that belongs to YouTube, of course. They take 30% off of whatever you're giving. Or there's my PayPal account below in the description box. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. We're going to get started. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay, everyone, going to row 13. Let me just confirm. <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'm doing my four triples, my single, my three chain. Give me the height of my triple. One, two, three, four, five chain. Doing my triples. So we did one, two, three chain on here. <clears throat> one, two, three chain, obviously, because you know we started with one, then two, now three. And one triple over triple. Okay. Hey everyone, so did my chain five. When you're unsure about the chains, all you have to do is come down here and see how many we did. So we did two, three, four, five, and you can go into six. I did five. One, two, three, whoops, one, two, three, four, five, into the six. So yeah, five, because when you hook on, it looks like six. Okay, so we're on our last loop here. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chain coming in and closing my last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doing my four triples. We're almost closing the pineapple out. One, two, three. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just want to make sure. Oh, eight chain coming in and doing my triples. One, two, see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five chain. And continue on. Okay. Okay, everyone. So pretty much completed this motive. Now we're going to repeat the same thing. Chain eight and go on the same way as we did here. Right? And then on the next one, we'll be doing this motive. A four, and then one, two, three, four, five, chain, and then one, two, three, chain. Okay? So if you get mixed up, just rewind a bit. Put your closed caption on and retake the notes on it. It will be much easier and simpler for you guys, okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, going into row 14. So row 14 is going to change. We have to close out the pineapple. So single, three chain. We're still doing the uh, four triples. We're almost there. We have like about four rows left or so. Okay, so did my triple. One, two, three, four. Four chain. Actually, I'm going to do three chain. I'm going to come here. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five chain. One, two. On my third one, I'm going to do single. Okay? And then I'm going to go directly into this um, triple. We're doing double crochets now, okay? I'm going to do three, um, well actually two double crochets. It will look like three because of this uh, from the chain here. One, two chain. I'm a habit of doing triples. I was rolling for triples. So we're going to do shells of two double crochet. One, two. No. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. So coming in here. Single. Again, on this um triple we're doing again the shells of two double crochet into the center and again repeat so we're doing on all of the triples we're doing shells of two double crochet two chain and two double crochet going directly into the center here with a single and continue on I'll meet you here at the end so I've reached the end here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to skip one, two, and I'm going to come in my third one with a single, exactly how we did here, and then my one, two, three chain. Coming in and doing my triple, my four triples.
This whole row will be about shells. Okay, so we have the four triples. And now we are going to close them together into the next one. with triple. So we're closing out the pineapples. Okay, and then again, one two, three, four chain. I'm going to skip one, two, three. I'm going to come into my fourth. You can do right in the center if you don't want to um, count the stitch either. One, two, three, I did it wrong. I went into the third. You can go right in the center here if you'd like. It doesn't change anything. Just looking to see if they're all done the same way. Yes. Okay, so coming back in again and creating the two double crochets, two chain, and two more double crochets. Now you could do them as triple if you like. I'm doing them as double crochet. Um, Yes. Okay, so again, coming directly into the center here and repeat everything again. So that's all we're doing to this row. Chain two. Okay, so exactly what we did here we're doing on this one too. I'll meet you at the end. Now don't forget when you get to the end you're doing your single and your four chain, okay? Exactly how we started. So just make sure that you don't forget that. We're still on the same row people. I just had to come back after I finished doing the shells and show you and then come in directly into the next one and continue to connect your pineapples with triple. Okay and then of course here we did uh, chain three so you know you'll have to do chain three because this is the smaller one, two, and three. This is the smaller uh, motive here. And then come directly into your triples to do your shells again. Into the center single. And then shell of two double crochet to chain. For some of you who might be doing the triple, you can go ahead and do the triple. On the other one, I did do triple, but it was on the other rows. On this row of closing, I did single uh, doubles. Okay. Okay, everyone. So pretty much did row 14. 
going into row 15. I know it looks funny the way it does because there's two big ones and two small ones, right? But the pattern works out itself. So, on to the next. So I've closed in with a slip stitch. Now we're going to do still the uh, triple. So row 15. And when we come back, we'll complete the triple on this side also. One, two, three, four chain. Okay, we're coming in and we're doing three triples, shells, okay? Two chain and three more triples in the same space. Coming in directly. So this whole row will be about shells of three triples, two chain, and again. So I'll meet you here at the end here on the last uh, shell, okay? So did my last shell, chain four. One, two, three, four. All the way around will be same uh, amount of chains, okay? Now we're doing the triples where we've closed off the pineapple. And it's all going to be the same way. And then chain four again. One, two, three, four. Directly into the shell and create your shells. Have three triples, two chain, and three more triples in the same stitch. No chain space, go directly. Okay, <clears throat> so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've closed up, going into row 16. I'm going to come in, do my single two chain. Next space. Not two chain, sorry, three chain. We're doing triples. It's the habit of doing doubles right and again on here okay hold on a second here is an incomplete triple sorry so first triple second we don't close in 
we're going to close in now. Okay. One, two, three, four, five chain. Continue to do your shells. We have this row and one more row left and we're done. So your shell stays the same, everything else stays the same. The only difference is at the beginning of this one here, we have to incomplete and then one per stitch. But we'll get we'll get to it again um, when we get there. So coming over to the next one again. Doing your shells. I'll meet you at the end of the shells here so I can show you again how we're going to do the motive here uh, for the pineapples, okay? So continue your shells the same way as we've been doing. So just go directly into the next shell. And I'm going fast because it's just shell over shell, right? I know some of you just get overwhelmed when I get to do, to do this fast. So I'll meet you at the end of my shell so I can show you again. So just completing my last shell here. Okay. Going to do the five chain, five chain everywhere. Coming in, we're going to do the incomplete triple. Next stage, also, uh, same thing, and close it. And now do one per stitch. And now we don't close, okay? So the last two, we are doing the incomplete. And then close it all together. So two incomplete at the beginning. One, two, three, four normal triple. And then the incomplete and close it all out. One, two, three, four, five and start your shells again. So simple. And one more row after this and we're done. Show you in a second what it looks like. I'm going to turn it this way so you can have an idea. Gorgeous. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of our row. Okay, everyone, going into row 17. And I did mention this was the last row that we're going to create, but made a mistake. We still have two more, this one and the next one. I apologize for that. I thought I was done, but I'm not we have to complete two more rows. Okay, so triple. We have to do the incomplete on here also. So that means as soon as you do your triple, you're coming in this one. Incomplete, right? We have to do the two last incomplete. And now close it up. And we'll do the same thing when we get here. But I'll show you once we are further up. Two, three, four, five, um, six chain. Okay. And then do your triples for the shells. So 
A very simple nothing to it. Now on this row, I'm going to do one chain. The next row will be the last row for sure. And I thought I was there, but I must have not put my glasses on to see the pattern that I was still one more row up. Okay, so pretty much one chain in between shells. Now in here we're doing a six chain and we'll do the two here incomplete. But I'll, I'm going to do my shells and then I'll meet you on the next one here so you'll see how to do it. So I've done my shells, I've done my six chain, and here we have to do the incomplete. So we're going to come in this one right here. Incomplete. And now we close it off. And doing triple. Here we're going to do the incomplete again. And closing off. So we have five incompletes. Uh, five triples, okay? And then six chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. Continue with your shells. That's the only uh, difference that we have. Of course, one chain space in between the shells. Okay, so one chain and proceed again. So this is what it looks like. I'll meet you at the last row at the end. Okay, you guys, getting into my last one, I've did my six chain. Came into not the first one here, but the one right after. Doing my incomplete. Triple close. And we have that uh, triple already on here. And close. Coming back up, single, one, two, three, chain. So I'm coming in, in here, and closing it up. Okay. One, two, three. Let me just see what's going on there. Three. And I'm going to come here with a single. So this is the last row. I'm going to try to change up a bit here because the last row on the other pattern is just shell. And I think we can do better than that. So three chain pick up. Let me see how this looks coming into the next one. Triple one, two, three. Pick up. Coming into the center. One, two, three. If I don't like it, I'll take it down and just do something else. Another one in the same space. So. So far I have one, two, three, one, two, three, chain. I'm going to come into this one here. No, sorry, the first one. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. 
and fine. And then coming into the middle here. Okay. I'm going to come directly into the middle of that one chain we did. And then, oops, coming again on the second one. So we're skipping the first one. Skip the first one, do a triple on the second, three chain, peacock, into the next one, triple, three chain, peacock. I have two in the center of the two chains. So we have one, two, three, four, five peacocks and one, two, three, four, five, six triples. Okay. So into the second peacock, uh, triple. One, two, three. Peacock. Into the next one. See if I like this better. I think I like this better than just a normal shell. Which, it's not bad. I'll show you with the other one. But I think this one will look prettier. One, two, three. You can do either or if you'd like. One, two, three. I think it will look, give it a nice little effect. And then into the first triple here. So we do two inside. We have five peacocks and six triples. Okay, and the last one on here. Yeah, I think it's much prettier. Anyway, I'll show you here how I have it on this one. So this one has just normal shell and single. And then I have two double crochets on here. So that means I did the, um, and this is normal double crochet. So I did chain three and then did a double crochet sideways again on the same space and then came back and completed my other three. So it's got like two double crochets here sideways. I don't know if you can see, but that's what I did. But anyway, I think I like this better just to have a different. Okay, so again, come inside of your one chain single. Do your triple on the second double crochet. One, two, three. And if you want to do it the other way, then go ahead. I mean, it's up to you. You can do just shells if you like. One, two, three. I think this complements the pattern. So you know there's two inside of that chain, two here on the shell. Okay, then just go directly into that chain space. So I think this looks way much more prettier. And we're just going to confirm rows. Oh. Yes, I'll meet you here again just to make sure you don't get confused with that one, okay? Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen rows. I'll meet you here before I close off. Okay, so I've reached my last one. I'm going to come in, close it with a single. One, two, and three. That's exactly what we've done here at the beginning. And now I'm going to come in and do my incomplete triple. One, two, three. Come back in the next one, single, and then start your triples again. Well, this pretty much does it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a very old pattern of mine. And 
just going through some of my boxes because I got like tons and tons and tons of stuff and see what, because you guys ask so much for pineapple and I know I have lots of them. So I thought I'd go through some of the boxes and see what I had in there that would um, probably be to your liking and uh, something different because you guys know I like to create different. So thank you so much for being here. Let me know what you think of the pattern. And um, I will see you definitely, hopefully, in God's name, in the next tutorial. I will have this in display at the end when I'm done. Um, a little video and the pictures and the sizes and how much thread I used. So thank you so much. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I send you much love, much hugs, prayers for people that need prayers. Even if you don't, we all need prayers somehow just to push through our daily routine life. So if you're having health issues, mental issues, physical issues, Maya financially, May the Lord Jesus help you out and bless you on every sense of the word and heal you and take out your pain. And um, I send you much hugs. Until next time, everyone. Bye-bye.